I feel the noodle heaven is calling me. Hello everyone, I hope you are having an amazing day. This is Dan, I'm in Shanghai, China right now. And today we're going in deep on the ultimate Shanghai noodle tour. I will be having five insanely delicious bowls of noodles from Shanghai's classic stir-fried noodles, spicy pork noodles, locals' favorite pig intestine noodles, to the aromatic sesame noodles, and we'll finish strong with the luxurious crab meat and croaker fish noodles. And this is only part one of our noodle tour. So please do me a favor and click the subscribe button because in part two, we're gonna have more insanely delicious noodles and perhaps one of the most expensive bowl of noodles in Shanghai. You certainly don't want to miss that. Okay, got it? Let's go. Our first stop is a tiny restaurant on the outskirts of Shanghai. They serve authentic Shanghai cuisines, but they're really known for two dishes the Shanghai stir-fried noodles and the fried pork chop. So let's go check it out. All right guys, we got our stir-fried noodle and I also added an order of fried pork chop. Look at this, wow, so fragrant. And they use this kind of thick noodle and they have a little bit of the bok choy, thinly sliced pork, and you have mushrooms. But the real key ingredient, the really what we're here for is this stir fry noodles wow let me get a big bite big big bite mm. the noodle is really flavorful it's thick noodle so you get a mouthful of that nice noodle slightly chewy texture and when you continue bite into it you can feel that wok flavor from the high temperature stir fry the porchy that's a little bit smoky and a little hint of bitter but very aromatic very tasty wow wow mm. the pork bit they're not big but very tasty let me see if i can get some chilies to add to it let's give it a nice and big mix mix it nicely now we're talking on top of that already aromatic wok flavor that chili just pushes over the top we also have very very famous pork chop here you know on outside you can tell it's very crunchy they have sesame on there that adds another level of aromatic generously padded with breadcrumb but the crust is not thick mm. this pork chop is amazing wow it's crunchy when you first bite into it pork is just so juicy and meaty and you don't taste any of the pork odor at all i mean wow savory and a hint of that sesame aroma they also added the signature spicy soy sauce on top of it that adds another layer of savoriness very very good i had to get another plate of this fried pork chop so good look at that mm. I mean pork heaven now crunchy crispy aromatic on the outside so tender meaty juicy on the inside wow two pork chops one stir fry noodles satisfied happy let's go for our next stop the next stop on our noodle tour is a very very famous noodle house it's called Da Chang Mian and the English translation is pig intestine noodles and they are famous for you guessed it pig intestine noodles and this noodle house has been around for more than 30 years and from what i've heard they are staying true to itself which means very small tiny area very authentic shanghai noodles and not much of service but this place is really popular people are lining out the door for a bowl of noodles that some say might be the best of shanghai so let's go check it out and see what the fuss is all about we got our noodles Pig intestines noodles, you can see the intestines are really plump and really bouncy. And it's a very simple bowl of noodles. You got the noodles, the soup, and a bunch of pig intestines. Let's dig in and see what the fuss is all about. This is really soft and tender. I was expecting something chewy, 
but when you bite into it, it just falls apart in your mouth, almost melting away. Savory, a little sweet, and the texture is really phenomenal, and it's really clean. Now let me give you a try on noodles. The noodles are a little authentic. Let me try the broth. Slightly savory, it's pretty mild in flavor, a little sweet, quirky umami taste. What's really standing out is really this pig intestine. I mean, this is probably one of the best pig intestine I ever tried. Let me get a big bite. They're actually famous for another item too, and that's spicy pork. How much chili oil is on there? Wow, it's third bowl. Okay. Wow. Let's give that broth a try first. Wow, that's spicy. That's a completely different bowl of noodle. You still have that savory sweet broth from that pig intestine noodle, but that chili oil is so flavorful. Nice, tender, a little bouncy, very meaty and porky. Sweet, savory, and spicy, and that's umami from the meaty pork. Wow, very nice. Black vinegar. It just keeps getting better. Sandy, good. Let me finish this bowl. We'll continue our noodle quest. For our next bowl of noodles, we're gonna go try sesame noodles. Compared to a lot of places where the sesame noodles are served over cold noodles, in Shanghai, it's mostly over hot noodles. And it's gonna be creamy, thick, hearty. Wow, just thinking of that make you happy. And this place has been around for ages. When you mention sesame noodle, a lot of people will just tell you right away, go to this place. So let's go check it out. We got our bowl of sesame noodle here. We have scallion on top, then the sesame sauce, then the noodles. Below the noodles, there are also a little bit of that savory soy sauce. Then they also put a spoonful of the chili oil out there. The sesame paste is really aromatic and really fragrant, really thick. I also got a bowl of beef curry soup here and a plate of spicy pork. All right, I'm just gonna take a big bite. <laughs> I mean, it's a one bite, one bowl of noodles. Mm. Really, really flavorful. Wow, that sesame paste is really creamy. When you first bite into it, you immediately feel that sesame aroma. It's followed by creamy, nutty, peanutty taste. So I think their sauce is actually a mixture of sesame paste and peanut butter. So that almost a little buttery, a little nutty flavor really pushes that sauce over the limit. And on top of that, you can also taste, I think that's the pig oil or the chili oil that they put on top of the noodle. So that adds another layer of savory meatiness. Wow, comes the spicy pork. Let me add this to the bowl of noodles. It's actually really meaty and sweet. It's not salty at all. Light curry flavor, and you had the umami from the beef broth. Mm. A little chewy, meaty, but still quite tender. Let's get creative and make a new bowl of curry flavor sesame spicy pork noodle. It's really rich, somehow, strangely, very satisfying. I saved the best for last. Let's go for our last bowl of noodles. So guys, for our last bowl of noodles in this video, we're gonna try something new. The fry noodles, the pig intestine noodles, the spicy pork noodles, and the sesame noodles, they're all sort of classical Shanghai noodles that's been around for ages. This is something new. Golden crab with Kroger. Golden delicious soup crab innards and crab meat and underneath it three pieces of the Kroger filet okay let's try the soup first wow it's 
really flavorful. You taste Oshi in that sip of soup. The golden brown color on the top is actually golden crab oil. When you sip into it, crab flavor that just punches you. Wow. Let's try cooked fish flay. Mm -hmm. Little layer of fat in the skin on the outside. Just little gelatiny and little fatty. Then when you really bite into it, it just falls apart. The meat is so tender and delicate. Very nice oceany fishy taste. And I think there's more of the fish taste over the crab taste. Let's just try the noodles. That's been soaking in that delicious golden broth. Of the noodles I have tasted so far, I actually like this noodle the best. It's thin, but it's chewy, and you can feel that strength when people making the noodle, the jin dao. It's actually pretty nice. I feel like your noodle al dente might be a little soft for you, but it's perfect for me. Wow, that soup, that broth, phenomenal. You gotta come here and order this. This is amazing. I feel the noodle heaven is calling me. That's part one of our noodle tour. If you like this video, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Because in part two, we're going to visit some of the best noodle houses and have some of the most unique and tasty noodles in Shanghai. You certainly don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.